Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome to a new game that I've been playing recently called Dragons and Diamonds. Now I like this game, it's rather interesting, it's a puzzle roleplay style game where you are the leader of a group of intrepid characters that are going through the lands, saving and rescuing a lot of villagers and defeating monsters, so hopefully you will like the gameplay. Now up till now I've only made a few videos and I do like it but I want to actually progress today by doing a live stream. Now I don't know if anybody's going to be coming to watch me, at the end of the day that's not so important, I just want to play the game, progress the game and maybe have a live video up there for people to have a look at a little bit later. I've not announced it anyway but let's see how this goes. And I'm going to introduce the game to you now. Right, now this is my game that I'm actually looking at here. So you can see there I've got this beautiful shape that's in the center there. And you can see around the outside there, it looks like you're going to fall off the edge. There are some villages there that are locked, that have been attacked and destroyed. And if I slide on down the screen, you can see the villages that I've actually rescued. So I started off with the wasteland, which was area one. I've then progressed into area 2 which is the crystal plains, I've then moved from there into the volcanic pass and I'm now in area 4 which is called the forgotten desert. Now there are some options within the game, you've got a daily gift that comes up every day, next one will be ready in about 18 hours and you just collect a box and then hopefully you'll gain something wonderful inside. Now I've been getting some nice rewards out of this and I do like this daily gift. You've got the spindle wheel option at the top which is basically an advertisement. You press that, you play an advertisement and then it will give you a prize. You can then respin again, I watch another advertisement and it doubles up and that can be very very nice. That will give you often a lot of coins, it gives you gems as well and it even gives you a load of card pieces that you can collect to level up your characters. Now I've got a load of characters already. If we look down at each of the five columns I've got them, they represent a specific style of player. On the blue side I've got the wizard, okay, which I've leveled up to number 5 already and I could actually go a little bit higher if I wanted to. I've got the ranger and I've also got the warlord. Now the warlord's a brand new character for me. He's only a level 1 and I've got to start leveling him up as well. I've not really played with the ranger and I've mostly been focusing on the wizard at the moment. However, my youngest son has actually been playing the game on my other device and he's almost, or basically he's got almost all of the characters already and he's enjoying it a lot. Now he's just a young boy, 12 years old, but he does like it. So it's popular, I would guess, maybe with some of the younger generation as well if they want to try the game. I've got the knight, I don't have any of the other yellows yet. On the green side I've got the guardian and I've also got the witch as well. On the purple pink I've got the samurai but I don't have the ninja or the druid. And the last colour yet I don't have any of those hunters at all. Now I'm hoping that when I get to the last battle here, where I go up against the main dragon itself, I will release a new character that will be very useful for me. Now additionally there is the win the streak option and as you start winning within the game you'll get a few extra boosters and these can be very very nice within your puzzles. Now let's just play the game. So first of all I've got some achievements I need to do, there are some that I haven't yet caught up with but uh, I need to collect 24 of the stars which gives me more rewards as well. I've got to defeat three of the raptors and I've got to kill Sting at the end as well well. And then as I progress through the levels I get more opportunities there. On the daily cards, today I got myself some gold. I haven't actually purchased the Samurai or the Witch, but I did get a free pouch as well, so I'm rather pleased about that one. Let's go play the game. Right, as we move into the game, we've got the Evil Village. The reward is a treasure chest. I've got two waves there. There is a giant worm and a crocodile. Quest, complete the level successfully, destroy one of the golden gems and do a combo destroying ten or more of the diamonds. Ooh, let's play. So three of my energy crystals, let's go. 
Now, four characters there. Now, this one is a brand new new for me within the game. It says I need to make a combo which will then damage the walls that are up against those crystals. So you'll see those brown lines there. I need to break through those brown lines, i.e. the walls, to get to the crates, which I need to destroy as well, thus allowing me to get more crystals on the board to do even greater attacks within the game. So let's go do that. There's not much we can do here. It's 144 points but I'm not going to be hit by the worm. Now, you can see the worm now is, or has lost some points, but there was the number one and number two there. Number two means two hits before he hits you, and then number one means the next one he's going to attack me. So you need to be looking at the actual character that you are attacking to see when they are going to attack you versus the lives of your characters as well. Now, the only battle option I've got here is the greens. I'm going to do that. 162 points. That's not really a lot out of the 2,000, but it does help itself. So there we go. That one's gone as well. And look at the size of that hit. That was horrible indeed. Now, if I look over here, you'll see that I've actually got some boosters there as well. So these extra crystals that allow me to fight the characters. So if I wanted to, I could bring this crystal orb in. Okay, it's going to cost me 20 of the gems to buy. I'm not interested. I could also go with the fire bloom here as well. And I could go with the crossbow. Now, at the moment, I don't actually have any of those within my collection. So I can't use them just yet. So I'm fighting without the boosters. But let's go try this one. 276 against the giant worm. There we go. Bring down the gold crystals as well. That should allow me to get a very nice combo in there as well if I'm very lucky. Now the worm is going to hit, so I want to use a character that is not going to lose me so many points. Okay, in one go. We're going to take this one here. There we go. Eagles! Hello, by the way, and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Dragons and Diamonds. There's links in the description, by the way, if you'd like to download the game and give it a go. Now, I've actually got a few people watching, but not everyone is chatting, but that is okay. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Now I could go with the green crystals. Basically what I need to do is kind of like join them all together into a specific line. That would be great. I could then go with the gold as well. Now I can't go down to that bottom gold because the barrier's in the way. So I need to think very clearly about how I want to do this. Now in total that's only 210 points. But uh, if I go with the green as an example, that's 216. Now as I'm battling these characters, you'll start to notice, by the way, that uh, they're building up a specific amount of power towards a key crystal. So each of these characters has a specific power, and as you break down or you start increasing the points towards that power, they give you another crystal within the game that will do a lot more. Hosni, hello as well. Well, welcome to Dragons and Diamonds. Hopefully you guys can see the gameplay very well. I usually play uh, in a, a different way on this, so you're looking at the game slightly differently, and hopefully the screen is showing you everything that you need to be looking at. Let me know if you're missing everything, or you can see or can't see. So, this is the first time I've actually played a game as such in this direction. Right, now we've got a very, very nice gold one here, so I need to think about this very, very carefully. So, how would I do this, I wonder? Now, I can come up from the bottom like so, which would allow me to do all of those. Means I'm going to miss out on uh, two of the gold crystals there because I didn't connect them. So we come back up that way. There we go. I'm only losing one, two of the gold now. Uh, 378 is a nice hit point. You'll see the gold crystal under my warrior there is actually getting bigger as well. So that gives me the opportunity for more build up towards that large crystal as well. So let's do it. Gold is good in this case. Right, that breaks down a few barriers, takes away a few of the crates as well. 684 point and diamond crust there as well. That looks nice in now we've got a nice green one there as well, 324. You'll see that the green crystal again is increasing very nicely as well. So that will be very beneficial towards that big crystal as well. And my worm is going to hit me with the next one. Right now we've got some blues here. Now I need to get 678 points. And if I can do this in one go, then I won't lose a life and he won't be striking me back. And that is a good thing. 
Right, and Osni said, and this is an interesting game. I'll download it later. It's actually a lot of fun. My youngest son plays it as well, Osni. And he's actually progressed very nicely within the game, and he's enjoying it a lot. But you do have to think about how you're choosing the pieces sometimes. Like when you get the special crystals, you need to be aware that sometimes you don't want to make the full line because you're looking at horizontal or vertical lines or matching up other crystals as well at the same time to give you a maximum power. Now you'll see here this is 736 which is very nice indeed. That will kill the giant worm and then it will take me to my next battle because this is only wave 1 of wave 2. So watch what happens as I do this. I kill this giant worm, he loses his life, I don't lose any points or lives, wave clear and any hit points left will carry over to the next character and there you'll see it will then attack them. But in this case there's nothing to carry over so I don't get any benefit there at all. Right, now what's next I wonder. Now this is a one hit option, so whatever I do here, that crocodile is going to keep attacking every time. My points are getting a lot lower, which is not so beneficial. So I need to try to get as many points as I can without losing any lives here. But I also want to try to bring the crystals down, and if I can bring those down together, then that will make it a little bit better for me by being able to make more patterns. So let's try this one. We can do that one there, which is 192. That's more points towards that one. That's not really affecting the hit against the crocodile, but it does break the lines and destroys the wall, getting me closer to those chests at the bottom as well. Now that was a nice hit, but as you can see there, I've lost one of my three lives. Not a problem. Uh, I get my character back, which is okay. And now I just need to start doing more hits. Not really got much of a choice here, so I can't go down to the fourth goal, there's only 126. But you'll see there that it's actually completing that gold crystal now, which is what I want to do. So there we go, small hit on that one, take a big hit back from him, and then the gold crystal comes out. Now what's this? As I actually hit that gold crystal, I can come in from the crystal itself and come down, and you'll see that it's actually a horizontal line. So by connecting that crystal with other crystals of the same pattern, it will then connect with any other crystal within the same line. Now if I start there at the top, there's only like the one crystal it can actually do. So if I went gold, gold, one, there's no benefit. So you've got to think about the direction you're going to bring it down to the better location. So eagles and Hosdy, when you do play, think about that with these crystals as well. Now as such with this one, I can't do a two crystal hit, it won't let me. So if you look at it, if I go like this, uh, it's not going to be the best one for me. It works, but it's not ideal. Okay, it, it killed a lot of points, but it's not the best. However, it does give me some very nice crystals indeed. Like this one here is from the top to the bottom. This one here is a group, so getting those further down is much, much nicer as well. Maribel, hello, by the way. Right, now let's see how I'm going to do this one. There's a nice green one here, which is a good hit pattern. Can't really get much more out of that one, so I'm going to take this pattern straight down to the center. That brings my purple crystals down as well, and brings those two key ones down as well. And that's a critical hit, and I'm only losing part points. Very nice indeed. Now watch this. If I go with that one there, and then as I slide it down, you'll see that it's actually connecting with other crystals. So I need to look at the points and adding up those points. So you need to check your mathematics on this one as well. Now by sliding it down the extra slot there, you'll see that it actually covers the crate. That one will destroy the crate for me. If I go upwards, it doesn't hit the crate, just takes the wall. Sure, let me have a little think about this one. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to come down and do this one thing. That's going to be a nice hit pattern there. And that will kill that crocodile very, very nicely. And there we go. Okay, we did it. We cleared the two waves. That's the first village rescued. Right, for anybody that's brand new to this one, this is Dragons and Diamonds. It's a new game that I started playing. I enjoy it. It's actually good fun. And we got a victory. So let's go have a look. Did we get any of the achievements? I wonder. We're going to find out. So we got some witch cards there. We got the knight cards as well. So eight pieces there, which is very good. A little bit of coinage as well. We've got our first winning streak there. 47 hours, 59 minutes on the clock again. And we can now claim one of those crystals during the battle as well, which is good. 
Now, let's go do the next one. So, we click on the next village, and you'll see there that this time we got the raptor and the lizard. We got a treasure chest as prize to be gained as well. Complete the level successfully. Don't let your green hunter take any damage. Oh dear, so green hunter. Hmm, okay. Do a combo destroying 15 or more. Now, green hunter not taking any damage is rather challenging, but we'll see. Three energy crystals used. Now there's my green hunter in the center there. Now what I can do if I wanted to is to change my characters. So I could switch them around. I could go maybe from like uh, my wizard, I could change it for my ranger, I could change it for my other characters as well, and try different battle techniques. Now at the moment I've been focusing on uh, this top row, so I've not changed any characters around as such yet. But as I start leveling more up and getting more power and becoming more comfortable, I will try different combos. And we'll have to see which one is more effective against which creature. Anyway, but we're going to continue with that one. Right, now, if I wanted to, I could bring down this beautiful crystal. And there we go. I brought that one down now. So that's added into the collection. Now, that one there, when we actually touch on it, is a very, very nice one indeed. And if I come up like this and then hit it, you'll see it's going to take all of the crystals of the same kind there out of the sequence, which will then give me 384 points against that character, which is very nice as well. And that's a lot of points towards my purple-pink crystal as well. Very nice. Uh, does this require Wi-Fi to play the game? Hosni, I'm using it on Wi-Fi, so yes. I've not actually tried to play it without Wi-Fi yet, so I can't say yay or nay to that one, but I can check it later for you if you would like me to. Uh, and then I can let you know and post it on my Twitter or something like that. Or maybe I can post it in another video. I've not tested it without Wi-Fi yet, sorry. I don't know. Right, now we got gold down here, and the next one will be an attack. So gold is not going to be too painful for me. I've got a nice combo there of six crystals, 252, which is good as well, and that's halfway towards the gold. So yeah, let's go for it. Okay, minus 790. Ouch, that was horrible. All right, what have we got down here? Now we need to start clearing away some of these crates. Now I could go with the nice 192 there. I could also go with a nice 216 on that one as well. Now if I use my uh, green character in the second part, when I'm attacking this creature, then I won't lose any damage towards it. So it's more beneficial me doing this now rather than later. And then hopefully that will give me the chance to use other characters, which will then take the damage, and then I won't lose so many points on this either. So there we go, 552, very nice indeed. I like it. So what do you think, Hosni? You definitely going to get it? Are you interested? I wonder. Right, now let's have a look at this one again. So 462, we can go with the gold on this one, which is 294, which is very nice indeed. I like the look of that one. Uh, that brings down the gold crystal, which will be very good for later as well. So, And one more hit on this one as well. We won't take any damage if I do it this way. So we're going to go with the green, that's 270. And I don't lose any points on my green character. Very nice indeed. So yes, okay, go for it. Right, now we're going on to the lizard. There are those extra points that carried over. It won't attack my character because it's still within the hit mode. So we need to think about how we're going to do this. So what should we do again? Now I'm tempted to go with those ones there, which is very nice indeed. That's 240. That's a good chunk against this one. So or I could do this one here as well, and that would be good. That's still 240, that brings more down. There we go, that's my better option, I think. That brings the purple crystal in, which will be very nice as well. And now I need to do it again. So we're going to go with that one there. That brings down more of the other crystals and brings the golds closer as well. There we go, perfect. I like those games. Okay, me too, it's actually good fun, and it's not too stressful either. The fact that I can think about what I need to do and then uh, plan it and then try different kind of like characters, it, it is actually rather interesting. So I like it a lot as well. 
I've come close to making a few mistakes though, and I've not got all of the experience points from each of the characters or each of the rounds, but I have done very nicely indeed. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Can we get any benefit out of this? Yes, we can. There we go, 460 on that one. That's very nice as well. Probably not going to need my extra crystals, but we will see. I lost a life there. Ouch, that wasn't so good. We've got one left. Right, 700 points there. Difficult decision. Can't go through the wall, so that's not good. Uh, we've got walls in the way here that are a bit of a problem. Now I could come down, up and over. That would work. Okay. Or we could do that one there. Let's do that one there first, 168. That's not the best one, but it will help. Right, now, 543, and I don't want to lose anything on my green character, so that's a 270-pointer, which is not good. We come down here with this one, and if I touch on the crystal, that's 288, 10 done as well, max, and 168, which will take me down to a very, very low level, so I wonder if I can do it. So you'll see here that I've actually hit the crystal, which is a nice boost for me as well, so let's do it. There we go. Blade Storm, and will it kill it off? So close, three points. Now I've lost my last life there, but it's not going to matter because I'm about to kill it in one go. There we go, 324, it's gone. We did it. Bonus wave, get the extra points as well. Wave done too, don't let your green hunter take any damage. We did it, perfect. Okay, right extra points there, cards, what are we getting this time? We got the knight, which is not bad, and we got some more wizard cards, and that is good as well. Okay, more coins, more money, which is nice, and we've continued with the winning streak. Right, let's see if we can level up anything. Now my samurai needs to be leveled up, that's 130 coins, I can do this one here, so we take that one. That's now a level 4 player, which is really good, I like that one a lot. So XP plus 50, hit points 160, extra damage plus 7 as well. Now I could also upgrade my guardian, I've got the extra points there, which would be very, very nice. I could do my knight as well, and I could also do my wizard. But I've also got other characters down here that need to be upgraded as well. So I'm going to start upgrading those. I want to keep my cards relatively balanced as well. So we're going to take the upgrade on the wizard first of all, which has put him up to level 2. Uh, hit points not too bad. I like that. 1 plus 20 and 6 plus damage. Okay. And the witch needs upgrading as well. She's super cool. I like her. She's now level 4 as well, and we're bringing up her points by another 170 and damage 9 as well. So that's pretty good. Now I don't have enough money to do the rest of them. Now if I wanted to, I could watch an advertisement, as I said, which is the spin the wheel. But I'm not going to do that one today, because it means watching another advertisement, and that sometimes makes the video go a little bit strange. Right, let's go to the next village. We're going to use three energy crystals. There we go, tap on that one, and we go, 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 go. Cyclops Lord. Ooh, don't like the look at that one. That one doesn't look so nice. That's a lot of points as well. Sure. Let's give this a go. Lots of wall barriers in place. And we've got a lot of crates there as well. What's the best sequence for breaking some of these barriers down? We're going to take that one there, 276 first of all. Let's see how he goes. So 276 against the Cyclops Lord, and minus 411. Ouch, 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 that's not so good. Right, let's come down here with this one, let's see what that one does. We'll do 216 on that one, and he's not so strong against the Cyclops Lord either. Right, now we've got some free boosters here, we're going to take those ones. Rock, destroy the rock by making a combo next to it. Hello, that's brand new. So, we're going to take the free rose, and we're going to take the free blue orb. Right, let's have a look. So I can't get to the fire crystal, which is a shame, but that's a 368 on that one. If I came down with the green, that could be good. Oh, that's 540, that's 11 combo as well. That's very nice indeed. That's a nice combo against it, which will destroy the rock as well. And that's a lot of experience points gained as well. Very nice indeed. I'm happy with that one. 
Ooh, look at those blue crystals. Perfect. This one I'm going to like. Right, now we come... Hang on, let's think about this, though. If I go with the purple, then I can bring down the other blue crystals next to it, which will be an even larger battle. Or I can go with the blue crystals anyway. Right, let's go down purple first of all. 260, not so many points, but let's try this. More blues come down, which will give me a lot of hit points on this one, I'm hoping. Look at that. So, come up there. 7.36, that's very nice. Okay, let's try this. Hang on. Uh, 5.52, not so good on that one. Mm -hmm. Hang on, let's come up and try this. We'll try different sequences here. So, better 552 doesn't really do much extra does it mm. okay that'll do right we lost a life oh dear that wasn't so good indeed was it all right so next one gold will be good here let's try this one 378 not really much of a benefit there but let's do something let's give it a go that's taking down the cyclops lord anyway which is going to be a nice combo of many others as well, which is good. A few extra points there to carry over to the next wave. And three tails. Ooh, that's not so good. Okay, that was kind of nice. I like that. Very good combo indeed, if I do say so. Right, now I like the green option here. So that's 432 there, which takes me to the larger crystal, which is even better. Takes away a few more of the crates and the walls, bringing down the blue crystal as well, plus a critical hit as well. That's very good indeed. Okay, gold this time. What should we do? Or should I go with that one? That's a 460, 168, 216. That's a nice one. There we go. That's a nice combo. Critical hit as well, 461 left. We've lost the second life there, not a problem. Right, now, this next one's good. If I use the green crystal later, I can stun him, which means he can't then hit me. But let's have a look at this pattern here. What can I get the most points out of this? So, that one looks good there, doesn't it? Seven, okay, I think that's the best option. There we go, I'm going to take that. Or I can come down there, which is fewer points, but that one there has got the maximum hit point. There we go, lovely. Look at that, Death Strike. And lots of coins carried over. Beautiful, beautiful indeed. Oh yeah. Three stars. Wonderful, 30% extra as well, and more cards. Samurai, four cards. Wizard, four cards. Beautiful. Okay. Now, if anybody wants to download and try the game, whether it's an Android or an Apple device, there are links in the description for this video. Try it, see what you think. It's actually relaxing. I do like it a lot, and it's called Dragons and Diamonds. It's a new game. I've started playing it recently, and it's by the Kilo Company show. Try it. Right, Star Chest. Now, if you build up your star hit ratio, then you get a lot of extra prizes as well. So we've got seven cards there, very nice. Seven rangers as well, so 14 in total. More red crystals and more gold, which is even better. Next star chest is in 10 more stars. And my energy crystals are now down to 9 of 16, so I've got to be careful with that one. Now I can buy refills, uh, and I can watch an advertisement as well if I wanted to as well, but I'm not going to. If I run out of crystals, I'll just stop the video. And that will be it for the day then. So let's just keep going. 528, can I upgrade anything? Let's have a look. 80 on that one, which is good. Brings him up to level 3 now, which is wonderful. And 140 there, 7 points as well. And 420 on the wizard. So he. Should I do the wizard? I like my wizard. Or should I go with my knight? I'm going to go with my wizard. He's my favorite one so far. Sure. There we go. Wizard is now a level 6. 
plus 13 on the damage, plus 80 on the hit points. He definitely needs more life there, so that is a good one as well. And we've now leveled up to level 4, from level 4 to level 5, which is fantastic. Yay. Damage multiplier, 44% more now, which is good. So I like that one. We get more of the energy crystals and more of the regular red crystals. So yay. Okay, I'm now 18, which is even better. So that was wonderful indeed, if I do say so. I like it. Right, next one. We've got the village, the Forgotten Desert. This time we've got a giant worm and a raptor again. Now those are heavy points, as you know. Destroy 25 of the blue crystals, win in less than 15 turns, complete the level successfully. Hmm, so don't lose a life. Right, let's go try. Oh dear, lots of barriers again. I don't like those barriers. Now I've got a choice here. I can do my purples 168, which the worm's going to hit that straight afterwards as well well. So let's do that one first of all anyway. We'll take away a couple of crate barrier points now as well. So he's going to hit me back. 420. Ouch. Not nice. I've got the option of doing the green one there for 168 or I can go with the blue there for 312. I'm going to go with the 312 and that will be good as well. So, but I'm going to take a heavy hit. There we go. 420. And shuffle because we had no good pairs. Okay, right, green this time. I think 168, not going to be good. 420, diamond crush. Mm -hmm. Options, options. I know I've got gold down at the bottom, I've got blue at the top. Uh, I'm going to go with the gold because it will break the wall barriers which brings more gems together which is what I need to do so I'm kind of disadvantaged with these barriers because you want to break them down sooner rather than later thus allowing you to get the crystals up against each other because you can't go through the walls you can go around them but not through so very difficult on that side okay we're going to go with the blue this time 416 let's try that one We lost a life. Oh my god, that wasn't so nice for me. Okay, what have we got now? Now I could do the gold here this time, 168. Okay, that's probably my best choice, I think, there for the moment. Or if I leave the gold there for the second, I go with the pinks. 168 brings the gold down. I get the better connection as well, and the more gold pieces to take this one down. So let's have a look. Ah, you move down further. Typical. Okay, four crystals is four sixteen. That's nice, but I don't want to lose the life just yet. But I've got plenty of power still. Gold on that one, one to sixty-eight as well. Uh, we're going to go with the blue. Okay, that'll do. Blue crystals four sixteen. That's nice. Giant worms attacking again and getting very close to losing my second life. Right now we can go with the gold again. I think up, 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 up. Two ninety four. That takes away more of the wall barriers, which is perfect. Let's try that one. There we go. Awesome. I know. Critical hit as well. One forty seven. That was very nice. Okay. Right. We're going to do this one here. Two eighty. Yep, let's do it. Okay. And 55 left on that one. Right. Now I've got a few free resources left. Let's see. Keep those for the moment. We'll use those on the next one. So, what should we do? What should we do? Mm hmm. We do the 280 on this one. That brings down all the crystals together, destroys the barrier, carries a few over as well. Once we've done that, we then bring in a couple of the boosters that we've got now. All right, let's go bring in those boosters. So we've got the free one there. We've also got this one as well. And we're going to take that one as well. Where do they fall? Oh, not such a nice sequence. That wasn't so good. But look at that. Oh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? That is very wonderful, isn't it? So, that 
gets a lot of points there. Times 18 as a booster, takes away many of the crates. I love these things. Look at that. Wonderful. Legendary, of course. Okay, go, 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 go. Critical hit as well. We lost our second life, not a problem. And we got some key gems as well. Right. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I could do that one, which is perfect. And look at that. Look at that. Doesn't that look good? There we go. Oh, yes. Destroy 25. Blade Storm. Go for it. Legendary. I like it. Oh, got a few points left. <gasps> okay. I'm going to enjoy this one. Look at that. The last one. There we go. That's a nice one. And that's a lot of points carried over as well. That's a nice bonus. Perfect. Right, Hosni said I like that. Wow, I know that was good. Once you get used to the crystals and the placement, it's like I said, it's all about uh, finding the best pattern, Hosni. When you can find the best pattern, then you can actually do really, really well uh, with destroying many crystals at the same time giving you more firepower so you need to look at those placements so using the boosters too early is sometimes not good using them too late is also not good it's a balance on where you're trying to get them at least that's what I've thought so far maybe as I become more experienced with the game I might start changing my mind a little bit more but I am enjoying this right another Rate there, which is good. Four and four. So for samurai four, which is fifty percent on the coins. Yes, look at that one. Another village rescued, which is great. And we go down to fifteen of eighteen. This is an evil village of the forgotten desert. We got the crocodile or cyclops, and oh my goodness me, a double battle there. Now I don't like the double battles because it makes it much more challenging. Let's show you. Complete level successfully. <laughs> we will try. Defeat the last enemy. Okay, with a gold crystal. I have ten or more on the board at the same time. Okay, that could be a little bit difficult. But let's see what we can do. Now, I've got a double battle at the same time. The Cyclops will hit every time. The three tails will only hit after the second move. Mm, sure, that's going to be a bit of a challenge for me. I could bring the crystals in now, but I'm going to hold off on them, I think. That's 336. It's not going to be much of a damage for him, but it will break some of the barriers. Right, let's bring some of the powers in, I think, otherwise I'm going to have a problem here. So we're going to bring in this one, the rose as well, and we're going to bring in the crosshairs. Okay, let's see. So let's have a look at this one. takes all of them, 378, that brings the crystals down, takes more barriers, uh, not many more points I'm going to get out of that, but that's still good, okay, that'll do, barrier destroyed, purple crystals together, big hit, double hit there, I've got the points on it, not a problem, okay, rock as well, don't like rocks, okay, now I've got a lot of purple crystals here, I need to find the best sequence, so one, two, three, four, uh, do, 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 five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's six hundred points. But let's come back down a second. So if I do that one, that's not a lot of points because that thing's in the wrong location, which is not so good. Okay. Still no good on the points. It's in the wrong position. That's not good. Okay, well, let's see if I can get any better crystals in place anyway. So we'll try that one there. 504. One hit at least. Okay. Right, now next time they both hit, so I need to be very, very careful here. So we can go with that one there, 208, not so beneficial. We come down here, it's 168, takes me to the thing, that's a double hit. I could probably take the double hit on that one. Uh, if I go with my blue crystals, like so, with the extra pieces there, that's not too bad. Uh, 
Okay, let's do that one. That's the best option I've got. Hosni says, good luck. Thank you very much. It's a challenge. Okay, there we go. I've lost my first life. Oh my goodness me. Now we've gained another horrible rock. The only way to get rid of those rocks is by doing combos next to them. We're going to get rid of the Cyclops now, which is not going to be a problem. So, um, we'll do him now, which is good. Okay, one character down. Right, now thinking, 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 thinking. I need to use a character that will give me a lot of hit points as well. So we're going to do that one, 336. And that gives me the pink crystal onto the board, which is good. So that's two boosters on there now. The rock is blocking my access to it, which is a pain. So I can't actually get to that one just yet. So I'm going to go in that one there, 168. I've got another hit left, which doesn't matter. But that's a bit of a critical on that one as well. Okay, we've got another rock there. Ouch. Right, if I went like that, that's 200 points. That's a good hit ratio, and that one takes the barrier as well. Okay, we'll do this one. Can I do it? Yes, I can. Blade store. Go, 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 go. Okay, that was nice. Perfect. But it's only wave one at the moment, which is a problem. Right, let's try that one. 200 points, not good. 300 points I need. Okay, but we've got two hits, which is not a difficult thing to worry about. We need to get rid of the rock with the combo. 224. That'll do. There we go. Gone. You are gone. Now, the stun one I will save till later. Alright, we're going to take the extra points on this one, I think, and take that over to the next one, which will be very good as well. So, there we go. 392, carry over as well to the next one. Okay, lovely. Crocodile gets a bit of a hit, and we get the gold pieces closer together. Okay, choices. Now, here's a one-hit option, so I've got to be very careful with this one. 504, that's good, that gives me two gold crystals on the board, plus a stun crystal and a blue one as well. Okay, this could be fun. Now, if I do this one here, that stuns him, which is perfect, which brings more crystals together as well. He can't then hit me back, which means I don't lose any points, which is even nicer. Should have used that one earlier, shouldn't I? Okay, let's try. Do 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 do. Six twenty four on that one. Do 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 do. Okay, come back up again. Seven twenty eight on that one. Nothing on that side. We're going to go with the blue crystals. That brings the purples down closer, which is nice. Up there we go. Right, now, how can we do this? I could go with the gold, which has a lot of points on that one as well. That's a 12 combo, which would be very good in the center there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. A death strike option. One, two, and three. Okay, there we go, minus 500 points. Right, now we've got a very nice combination here. So I could go with this one again, which is a big hit option there. Or what I could do... Five hundred and four points on that one. Okay, we'll do the five four first of all. Let's bring down some of those other crystals. Plus a critical hit as well. Good, lost a life. No problems though, we've still got time. Okay. There we go, look at that. That looks good. Gotcha. 
Now this is Dragons and Diamonds. Okay, if you'd like to get the game, please actually look at the links with it below in the description. There's two links there, depending on your device. You've then got the option to download it, try it, play it. It's actually fun. It's good fun. I like it. If you like puzzle games, then perfect. Right, a couple of cards there again. So four Rangers and four of the Guardian. 50% more points. Another battle completed. More stars done as well. Coins going up and 13 of 18 left. So what's this time? A single lizard battle and then a double battle again. Okay, complete level successfully. Have one or more of the blue crystals on the board at the same time. Don't let any hunters die three times. Okay, so don't let any of your hunters die three times. Well, yeah, I don't want that to happen. Let's go try. Oh dear, I've got to break the barriers. So, choices, choices. We'll go with that one first of all. Uh, break the barrier there, or at least a little bit. Brings down the green crystals closer together. So, let's have a look. Fire one there, 416. Okay. Green crystals closer together again. Okay. 448 on that one. Perfect. There we go. Hmm. Now we need to do the same. Do we bring down the free options or do we leave them for the moment? I wonder. I'm going to save them for the wave two, I think. So let's do with the gold this time, 210. Critical plus 105. Okay, so Lizard doesn't like my gold guy. Okay, that's interesting to remember. Let's see how he likes the samurai. Try the samurai there. Barrier slightly broken again, which is good. Blue crystals closer together. And I could do 624, which is nice, but it will lose me a life. But uh, no, let's do it. It takes me closer. I don't mind. Okay, life one gone. No problems. Barrier broken, but no benefit on the crystals. I've only got the purples over on this side. 280. That's not going to be good. Alright, now I've got more crystals there. I can bring in some of the boosters, maybe. So let's have a little think about this. Show. First things first, 520, there we go. Blue crystal now. And I like that one. Alright, we'll go with the green this time, which is 336. Okay. That's okay, let's try that one. 336, that's good. And 48 points left. No problems, we get the green crystal, which is a stun. And then we go with the gold on this one, taking him down and bringing the gold crystal in as well. Yay. Critical hit, so, which is nice. Points carried over. And a double option, so two hit options there, which is good. Right, now... Thinking, 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 thinking. If we use the stun on this one, then he can't hit as well. Which is good. That means I won't lose any lives on that one. So one. Oh, I forgot I stunned the wrong one, didn't I? Ah, okay, that's what I mean. Sometimes I make mistakes. Even I do things wrong. All right, well, let's bring in my free options. And that's in a lousy place. And that's in a better place. Okay, let's have a look at this one. So how's that one? 210 points. Okay, it's not bad, I suppose. We do that one. Okay, 21 combo. That's good. 
that was very nice indeed okay I like that yeah, that was very nice indeed and we're gonna try this one now oh that's beautiful that's beautiful indeed that's not so good nice that will take a very very good hit against the giant worm and critical hit as well we lost our second life no problems right so we only need 130 points on this one so we've got this one look at that there we go you're going down we've got it death strike easy that was nice Okay, two of the stars gauge, not three of them, but like I said, I don't mind on that one. I'll come back and play later, and we are doing great. Yay. Okay, one set of knight cards, one set of ranger cards, so four of each, which is good. More coins, which is nice. And next village. Right, we've got two to go, then we will stop the stream show. We've got three battles this time. Ouch, Raptor, Lizard, Cyclops as well in that one. Oh my goodness me. Complete the level, successfully defeat the last enemy, destroy all of the crates. Yeah. This may be a problem battle. Let's give it a go. Oh dear, look at that. Okay, 416 on the Raptor to start with, so we'll take that one first of all. Right, so I've got a spare hit on this one anyway. Now the question is, do I use the crystals now or save them till wave 3 when i got the double battle? Now I'm going to save them for the moment. That's a 224. And if I go with the green, so we go up, 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 and then down. Let's try it. That was a nasty hit. That was a very nasty hit, but that gave me a lot of purples, which is good. So that's a 560 and a good combo as well. We'll do that one. Here we go. Hello, Nadia. Okay, this is a new look. Yep, I'm trying a new game out, I'm sure. I've been playing this one now for a couple of weeks or a week or so, and I like it. So today I'm actually just live streaming because I've got a few hours spare in the evening. So that way people can see what it's like as I play live instead of just watching a video. So it's the same thing, but uh, yeah, I'm just giving you a go live. Not told anybody I'm live streaming, so let's see what happens. Hmm. Choices, choices, choices. Should I bring down any of the boosters, I wonder, at this stage? Do, 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 do. No, let's leave it out for the moment. Okay, we'll take that one, 126. Okay, big hit on that one, of course. Right, we've got another second set of hits we can go with, which is good. 280 on that side there. Not very good for me this time. I might have to bring out some crystals. This is not looking nice. Right, gold again, 210. How many points have we got left? 944, 725. Uh, purple would be better. Green, 224, but I need the second hit on that one. Mm. Okay, we'll take that one. 210 destroys another crate, which is nice. That goes further. Uh, yeah, it's called Dragons and Diamonds, and it's a bit of a role play style game where you've got your own characters you can choose between. You're looking at puzzles to build up energy to destroy the enemy, uh, in this case some horrible monsters and some dragons as well when you get to that level. It's interesting, I do like it a lot. So, I'm starting to find this one rewarding very much so, so give it a go. The links are in be below in the video if you want to have a check later. Download it, try it out and see what you think. Do, 
You bring us some nice games, Ricky. I try to, Hosni. I try to. The actual games company contacted me on this one and said, would I be interested? So I said, sure, let me have a look. Uh, I liked their preview video. It was rather interesting. So I thought I'd give this one a go. Uh, I downloaded it and I've been playing it for a little while now. There's a couple of videos on my account as well if anybody wants to check them out. Uh, but it is very relaxing. Now that, I think, is definitely the best option for killing off those ones, so I'm going to take that there, but what I could do as well, if I went with that one, do, 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 or I could go back with the green, so I'm going to go with this one, let's do that one, Blade Storm, which is nice, that's a lot of points there as well, and we've got a big hit on that one, we lost our first life, not a problem. Got lots of greens in there as well, which is still good. And there we go, 504 points. He's going down. Then I can use my boosters on the next round. Uh, Nadia says blue. So, blue, not sure what you mean on that one. Right, now this one's a nasty one. And you can see here that I've got a, a bit of a, a tricky battle on my hands here. So, they both will attack me after their second I've got two lives left, I've got a load of boosters in there as well. So let's activate the boosters and bring down the crystal there into the center. Right, now let's have a look first of all. So if I tap on that one there, that's a lot of points to start with. And if I come into the side there, it's the same situation. Because the blue crystal is all the way down at the bottom. If I come in like that and come up to it, I can get a few more battle options by moving around. So, mm, do, 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 do. Right, which one is the best one? It's basically the same point, isn't it? Okay, 16 combo, that's good. I'm going to take the 16 combo. There's my first one done. That was nice. Right, I'm learning. I was playing along and said blue as you played blue, it's fine. Ah, okay, 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 I understand. Right, now I'm about to be hit by both of them, and I've got the stun for one of them, which will help, which will be that one there. That's 392 against the first one. I take down the character, uh, which uses a stun as well. So he's gone, and he's stunned as well, which is great. There he goes but I get attacked by that one. Now we've got a rock that gets added in there which blocks my path pieces, but we've got these two boosters now. Sure, I could bring that down there, which is kind of okay, but not beneficial at all. I've got those ones there, which is 392, which is kind of okay. Let's do that one. That destroys the rock, which makes it a little bit better for me. Critical hit as well, and beautiful indeed, if I do say so. Right, now if I could bring those ones together, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? But uh, I can't at the moment, so I'm not going to let me. Mm -hmm. Let's have a think, let's have a think. We want to stun him, don't we? So we're going to go with the stun option. There we go. Stun him now, he can't attack me, which is good, which means I'll get more points, and oh my goodness me, look at that. Right, we're going to bring in the last one there, which is nice. So, fingers crossed, how can I do this? So, there we go. Nice 17 combo there. Beautiful, look at that. There we go, legendary. Extra hit points by everybody else as well. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh, yes, wasn't that gorgeous? That was a very nice hit. 
and doesn't matter what I do I've got this one anyway so if we just go like that there we go beautiful I didn't need to really use it but it gives me extra points to carry over so more coins which is fantastic yes I was watching a program about your hometown in Japan and they were talking about the Wagyu beef place looks amazing uh, the beef in Kobe here in Japan is really 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 good Nadia uh, I've been to quite a few Kobe beef restaurants or Wagyu beef as you say there and very nice indeed sure, I do like it a lot I do like it a lot Okay, now that one was very nice indeed. We got eight of the samurai, six of the wizards, and six of the witches as well. So a nice amount of coins. And we are now down for the last battle. Now this will be the last battle for today as well. We've been streaming for about one hour, and hopefully you will enjoy the video when you watch it later as well. This is where I'm actually going to be up against one of the dragons itself after I've done two main battles. And I definitely want to be using my boosters as well. And if I win this, I will release a new character. And that's what I want to try and do. Now, sometimes these are easy, sometimes they are more challenging. And as you can see straight away, I've got a giant worm down there. And I've got a lot of barriers blocking my access to combining the gems. So that's all I can really do. 168 there in the middle, not so good. 676 points lost. Oh dear, that's going to hurt. That's going to hurt indeed. And again, there's nothing really to do. All I can do is this one. So, even if I bring in any of the booster crystals, so let's see if we can place them anywhere. Okay, that's 624, which is good. That will help me very nicely. Okay, I'll take that one. That's good as well. So sometimes using them, but oh, so close to losing a life there. So close. Okay, 224 on that one. Mm, not so good either. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Diamond Crush. Okay, yeah, I can see that. Right, can we bring any of the others in? Let's try that one there. That's a horrible position, and you know it. So even if I did that, like, look at that. That's terrible. Not good at all. Not good at all right in the wrong location but still that's a lot of crystals we'll take it that was the combo I needed and oh dear I lost the life but I get the blue crystal which is not a problem and this one takes him down and we destroy some of the barriers and the boxes which is good carryover points which is nice as well not looking good Osney yeah I know I know I know but I don't mind losing one or two lives as I'm fighting it it depends on what I can carry over but yes not looking good not looking good indeed we're down to the last booster as well and I really want to save it if I can so that's a lot of points maybe I need to change my players if I change my players it might work better for me so I can't really get in there with it Well, that'll help. Even though I get hit bigly with that one, it won't take my character down. I can soak up the damage. And then in the second ones, I can do large hits with this. There we go. Right, now we got a four blade 224 there. We'll take the damage on that one, I think. And yep, let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. we've got a stun crystal now, which is good. That will be beneficial for later, I suppose. Uh, if I'm not careful here, I will lose one life, so I need to do something where I won't soak up too much damage, or get too much, there we go, that'll do. 
takes it down, that takes it the hit there, 5, 7, we get the gold down there as well, I got all my big crystals stuck at the top and I want them to come down, so we can do that one for 224, that one there for 280, which destroys more of those as well, which is good, let's do it. Okay, 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 okay. We can soak up a bit of damage again. Let's have a look. That's 224 on the 4, not good. Uh, do the gold on this one. That's 294, which is not perfect either. We got this one, 224, not so good. We got the 312 there on the 5, well, not so good, but I can soak up the damage on that one as well. That will take away the crates and the barrier. We'll do that one. There we go. 312. 507 hit. Ouch. Right, okay, now we've got a lot of gems available here to be used. And the question is, how do I do them? 62, then carry over. We'll take those ones there. 280, take over to the next battle. That will bring in the golds down a little bit further as well, which is very nice indeed and dragon ahead and we've got one boost up so this is the one I need to kill 4,000 points there you go Hosnik what do you reckon am I gonna be able to do that one easily or not I wonder now if I go like this as an example I can't that's only 588 that's a combo which is good that brings me another gold crystal as well and that brings that into the board show it's going to kill me. There we go. Right, now we've got the one more booster there, which I'll take in the center. How can that help? Uh, it's not, is it? Let's see what it does. Let's try. Okay. We get a few more extra points from different players, and then one big hit. No problems. Ouch, 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 ouch. Mmm, terrible, isn't it? Let's try. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed. Ouch. Uh, Nadi hasn't back. Had a call. No problems. No problems. No problems. Calls happen. I not. It's okay. Right now, what's the best way of doing this one? I wonder. So. I think that's my best option. There we go. Let's try that one. 25 destroyed. Okay, large hits. Okay, we could do this. Please, we can do this. Oh my god, I've lost a life. <sighs> my first time ever to lose a character. Don't give up. If you quit, you will lose your winning streak. All hunters will return with 100% points. So, uh, do I revive or not? Now, I've never actually revived in the game. This will be my first time to do it. That will use 60 gems as such. And basically, I've lost a character. So, I don't really know what happens yet. If I actually don't spend the gems, do I lose the game and I have to battle a game? Okay, which is not a problem. Or do I use the gems, defeat the character, and then win this round? So, choices, choices, choices. What to do? Like I said, this is my first time to actually have this. So I don't know. So, Hosni, you're going to play the game as well. Nadia, you're doing it as well. So, what do you think? Should I revive with the 60 gems and see what happens? Because this is the first time to see it for me. Uh, or should we press the X and see what happens with that case? What do you reckon? If we do do the gems and then we continue the battle, we should be able to defeat this 
stinger then release the new character uh, I've still got plenty of gems left anyway because I get them within the game as I'm playing but options 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 what do you reckon everybody what should we do should we give up or should we spend the gems what do you reckon hmm difficult question now what I'm going to do because it's my first time I want to see what happens I'm actually going to press the revive now I've not like I said I've not seen what happens when this does happen so let's give it a go so it says don't give up if you quit you will lose your winning streak well that I don't mind too much about just means I lose the boosters all hunters will return with 100% hit points which is good so revive that for 60 uh, everyone's got maximum hit points which is great I'm going to use the stunner on him now which is 224 which means he can't actually hit me again which is fine uh, means he's got one, I've got one more hit on the go uh, all I need to do is this one here and that's 500 points and he's taken him down so we've won yay so if you spend the gems it revives all of your characters you defeat the dragon in this case which is sting so I'm happy about that one so sting has been defeated and that is good let's go to the log and you'll see we get a new character so cleric has been released now so this is my brand new character so new hunter discovered this talented fairy prefers healing over fighting but her temper can only be pushed so far damage 24 hit points 950 her special power with a crystal is not a crystal it's actually a health potion and it heals my team why didn't I have her earlier that would have been so much better right now we got an epic chest in this case so we're gonna open that one up which means I get some more cards samurai there we've got the guardian as well we've got the ranger and one more the so that one is okay so 9 15 8 and 8 in total that's pretty good right now the forgotten desert is now over we've finished that one we've got a new realm to unlock we've unlocked the first four this will be the fifth one so we we'll do that in a moment or maybe I'll save it for the next video I don't know yet but we'll see and then I'll save it for the next video right we get some free cards here which is great I will be watching the advertisement later which is on the spin the wheel because that will give me some more crystals I hope I've got some rewards to claim here as well so I'll do those and I'll do those and as usual I haven't collected all of my stars so I've got battles to go back and fight there but uh, once I've unlocked we get the fifth deserts worth or the fifth areas information so I will save that for next time can I upgrade my cards? Yes, I can, but uh, let's do that one later when we get more cards. She looks good, though. Okay, uh, Samurai, I could probably upgrade now, which will be good. That's a nice lot of points. I'll take that one. He's now level 5, which is beautiful, and I like that one. Living in Japan is kind of cool. Destroys diamonds in a vertical line as well. Oh, that one is good. The Witch can be upgraded as well, but I need more cards on that one, I think. Okay. Ranger later, Warlord later, we've got the Guardian and the Knight now, so let's have a look. I'm going to go with the Guardian first of all. Guardian is now level 6, he looks good. 170 on the hit points, which is fantastic. And we can upgrade the Knight as well, which is good, level 6 on that one. So, 285 extra hit points there as well, damage plus 7, wonderful indeed. Right, I'm happy. I've done what I can do. There's not much more I can do there until I get more money within the game. I've now run out, as you can see. The winning streaks for another 47 hours. Not too concerned about that. Daily gift next time. We'll unlock the card next time. Now, as you've seen, this is Dragons and Diamonds. I've been playing for about an hour and 13 minutes. If you would like to download the game, please do so. The link is actually in the video description. It's there for both uh, the Android devices and Apple devices. Again, if you would like to follow me on my channel, please do so. This is my second channel. I do have another one as well. You can join me there. But I will see you either in my next video or in my next live stream for Dragons and Diamonds. Take care, have fun, and thank you for joining me today. Goodbye now.